All right then, but what just arrived today? This is the, if I remember correctly, uh, Mako V4 clone from AliExpress. I'll link where I got it from in the description. I was gonna do a little unboxing and first review. So, check this aside. Comes in some protective, like a uh, polystyrene wrap. So I'm gonna do this with one hand. Slide that out there. It's just a polystyrene wrap, and then we've got a, one of these little boxes. This top just slides off, it's got like a, um, what do you call it? I don't know what the foil blocking on the front, your brand name. Okay. So inside the box, spare pivots, um, and washers. I believe this is just a washer knife, no brushes. Oh shit. There we go. Um, we have a bag which has the knife in it. And then just some foam to keep it protected, lost in shipping. Alright. First impressions then. So I got it in purple with a inked inked blade. I think also in here you get a little microfiber. Microfiber cloth to clean it. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna do tap test. A little bit of tap, but it's muted tap, which makes me think it just needs tightening. Is how it looks. A little scratch there. I don't know whether that's a scratch or just a problem with the anodizing. Play. There's not too much actually. Um, Couple mil, couple mil of play. It's quite noisy. It could definitely do with a. It's quite light. Not as light as my Nautilus, I don't think. It's quite light. It's um. Whoa. Quite handle heavy, maybe. Can't really tell, to be honest. It needs a tighten up. It's it's quite it's kind of loose. Well, you can hear that. So I'll tune it now real quick. And come back. Alright, so I've given it a proper tune now. Um, tightened it up and everything. Put some oil on it. And it sounds pretty good now, I'd say. To a tap test. Nothing. Do some check the play here. There's a little wiggle, but not a lot of play. A couple millimeters at most. Do a sound test. So yeah, sounds pretty good. Flips really well. You know, flips almost better than, not quite as good as my Nautilus, but almost as good as my Nautilus. And for 23, you know, $25 maybe, you guys how much I got it for? To have bushings, to have Aluminium, anodized aluminium handles, channel design with an inked blade. That's pretty that's pretty insane for for twenty five dollars. And that's shipping and tax included.
check that out. This is this is really uh, really impressive considering it would cost me hundred and twenty dollars for a squiddy. I could buy body the mess about five five of these for the price of a squiddy. Oh, and it sounds good. I mean, I get that it's a clone. You know, people don't want that, especially if they have other options. Me, not so much. I don't like the idea of a clone, not really. But I don't really have many other options. And so I'm quite pleased that they're so good. I'm going to do a sound comparison to my Nautilus. This Nautilus hasn't been tuned for a little while. It's got tap. It's got barely any play. It's still quite good on the play. The Nautilus is still my main flipper though. I kind of just got the uh, the Mako. It's going to be a kind of bottle opener, you know. Something to flip around and have fun. But yeah, it's good. It sounds amazing. It flips really well for what it is. For twenty for twenty five dollars, it flips amazing. Shit, it's kind of loud. Look at that finish. Would definitely recommend and I'll leave a link for it in the description just look at the anodization let me get that to focus shit it doesn't want to focus look at that very impressive I only just wish the uh, the hardware was also inked but to be honest for for the price I don't, I don't care all that much. So yeah, I've got a, a Kraken clone on the way. Pinked with, uh, sorry, pink with an inked blade. So pinked. We'll see. Uh, that's not going to be here for a while though. I'm having shipping problems with that. But yeah, very loud. Sounds amazing. Very fun to flip around. Very glad I got it and a good one to add to the collection. I'll do a review on it later. Um, another time, maybe after two or three weeks, or maybe I'll do a one month review like I'm going to do with the Nautilus. Because I've been flipping this for about three weeks now. Very good. And it's holding its tolerances very well. So, yeah. That's going to be it for this video. Just kind of wanted to show this off because it's well worth the money and I haven't really found much that's this cheap on AliExpress. You know, a balisol for this cheap usually is a, 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 what do you call it, a steel or something. Uh, Amazon trainer that falls apart within five minutes. And I did have problems with the screws backing out on this, but I just tightened them down again and it was fine. Hasn't backed out again. They just weren't very tight out of the box. But yeah. Anodiz anodization is amazing. It feels kind of cheap. But for 20 quid I'm not too bothered. Yeah, beautiful. Would recommend. 